Hi, everyone. I'm Greg Gumbel at the Anchor Desk with my partner, Clark Kellogg. Coming up on College Hoops Tonight, we'll break down all the big names of the week, as well as give you a preview of some of the huge matchups coming up around the nation in the next few days. But let's start off with who we selected for our NCAA Player of the Week. Locklear is this week's pick, and I wouldn't be surprised if he didn't show up here again. He has just delivered all season long and is making his case for Player of the Year. There were some fantastic matchups this past week, so let's take a closer look at them in our Games of the Week. We were treated to a matchup between two teams in the top 25. Stanford dismantled Oregon. It was a real treat to see these teams both come to play in what turned out to be a fantastic game. They showed us why they deserved their spots in the top 25. This was an entertaining and fun game to watch. Bowen was not going to be denied. His 29 points led all scores. They needed an effort like that to get this win. He saw all sorts of defensive looks, but no matter what they threw at him, he handled it and handled it well. Although this next contest seemed predictable enough, one of the best teams in the country suffered a severe shock to the system. Duke knocked off North Carolina. This came right out of the blue, Greg. What a wild and crazy game. North Carolina was sitting pretty as a top five team, but you've got to have some doubts about them after a loss like this. Duke was deadly from long range. Their three-point shooting made a huge difference. I don't know if they came into this game with a plan to attack from long range, but that's definitely the way it turned out. If you can consistently knock down big threes, it really wears down an opponent mentally. It just is so deflating when you work on defense only to give up a shot from behind the arc. Now let's take a look ahead to the games that get top billing on the schedule in the days to come. This should be a terrific matchup. Both these teams are fighting to improve their position among the nation's elite teams, and they're going to have to go through each other to do it. The North Carolina Tar Heels like to play a high-paced, up-and-down-the-court kind of game, and that's going to make them a very difficult matchup. They'll drive to the hoop in transition or pull up and splash the three, and I think they'll run all the way to a win. But that's not the only item on the schedule that has NCAA fans buzzing. This game matches a pair of top 10 teams and is sure to bring both teams' fans out of the woodwork, not to mention a fair share of the national media. Providence would be my pick here. They are so strong on the inside that I believe they'll be just too tough to match up with. It would really surprise me if that talent discrepancy on the inside doesn't tell the tale of this game. That'll do it for us here in the studio. For my partner, Clark Kellogg, I'm Greg Gumbel. Thanks for watching College Hoops Tonight, brought to you by State Farm, the number one auto insurer. Enjoy the exciting week of College Hoops.